Hey guys, this is a message for all my alopecia friends out there. In particular the kids, and even more in particular the kids that might have happened to hear or see what was said on the HBO TV show Veep last week. I am not going to repeat what Julia Louise Dreyfus's character actually said, because I personally don't think those two words should ever be said in public together again. However, I really did want to say something to you kids. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm pretty sure that none of those writers or producers of that show have ever met an alopecia kid. In fact, I could almost bet that half of them didn't even know what alopecia was until last week. And I know this because there is no way they would have allowed that to go in the script if they had met any of the amazingly strong, beautiful, and fun alopecia kids that I've met. If there's anything freakish about you guys, it is how outstandingly empathetic and sensitive and like phenomenally wise and courageous you all are. You're the funniest kids that I've ever hung out with too. If you ask me, I think that some of the writing staff or producers on Veep could do with a little bit of alopecia areata in their life. Because if they had it, they would have understood how wrong it was to allow such a well-known person and the lead character in a show, and she's portraying the Vice President of the United States of America, to say such shallow, thoughtless, and just unfunny things. And just quickly, I, don't, I want to explain something to you about comedy writers and comedians. As a comedian, who's doing a really bad impression of an alopecia right now, granted, I wanted to tell you that comedians often become comedians because they were bullied or picked on as kids for being different, by the way. So when they grow up, they decide that comedy is their way of getting their own back or being a, you know, getting back at that bully. But they don't actually consider that they've become the bully. They've become the ones saying the hurtful, harmful things that were said to them. And I think just like when they were kids, their bully thought they were being hilarious too. But they're not. They're just being harmful, thoughtless, and unfunny. So I guess all I can say is thank goodness I know you guys won't grow up to be like this because you understand how much words can hurt. And instead of getting mad about this whole thing, I give you a challenge to go out there and prove to the world loud and proud how amazing and how strong and beautiful alopecia kids really are. So this will never hap happen again. Because every writer, every TV producer will know exactly what alopecia areata is and will know how amazing, how strong, how beautiful, and how awesome alopecia kids are. Go get them. I love you guys.